Okay, so here we go. I've never sped run braid with um, external timers. It's, <laughs> that's why I'm messing that up. Um, I'll be jumping a lot. There's just a very, very few amount of frames that's saved for all these weird jumps that I'm doing, so I'm not gonna... If you jump at the beginning, like if you're standing still and then you jump, you accelerate one frame faster. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'll be a little bit reluctant of always jumping because sometimes you mess things up and then you lose a lot of more frames than what you just saved for the whole run, so... Well, okay, was, oh. so uh, what category is this? This looks like Super Mario, but it's really like a brain teaser game, like, uh, no, like no, Portal. Category, like any percent or... Oh, this is uh, the whole game. Um, ah. All glitches allowed. So yeah, there's some glitches here you'll see later. Yes! I think that's good enough for this. No, that wasn't. Ah, dang it. It's possible to land on that first guy if you get the timing right, but I missed that. Not a biggie. Oh, that was stupid. Whatever. So the, f the the divided into worlds. It starts with world two, which is kind of weird. But there's a whole big story behind Braid, and we won't have time to read that at all, because then I'll just have to sit there. It's a part of the in-game time. So, uh, but that's why it starts in world two because there's a story behind everything. You'll actually see the alternative ending, which is supposed to only be possible. Uh, by taking the seven stars first. There's eight stars hidden in this game. I won't take any of them. Um, you'll barely see one, uh, but I won't be able to take it. And um, if you just play Braid casually once, you'll never see any of them. Uh, like, I, I finished the whole game without knowing they existed. But um, this game actually has some... Stra this level has some route to it. Let's see if I can... Oh, dang it. What am I doing? I had it. There we go. You can actually do that one even better. Um, I'll, I can show you that afterwards. The task does it. It's really funny, but it's it only saves like almost nothing, and then you have to rewind a ton of times to get it right. So. So yeah, for those who don't know, this game is uh, based on uh, the time mechanic, isn't it? You can move, manipulate time. Yes. It's a different per world, I think, isn't it? And it's kind of like every game is like that, actually. If you have like a save state, but it it exploits it more as an actual feature of the game. The first world is pretty straightforward with just being able to rewind time. Oh yeah, and these puzzle pieces are platforms, oh. so I'm having fun with them. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've played this casually through the first few levels and you're blowing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is probably the most, like, brain... T that's probably the biggest brain teaser in the whole game, and it's in the first world on the second level. So that's really annoying for any new players who want to play this without going to Wikipedia and look up how to do things, so, or, you know, any... Okay, let's do this. Yay! I got that one, like, 90% now, I think. Of course, you can just rewind if you mess up, but then you lose time. Uh, the other worlds will exploit the time traveling a bit more. This one just has, if you mess up, you can rewind. Okay, there's a, here's a difficult jump. Let's see if I can do it. Yes! I always die on that. That was like, that's like 40% or something. So I'm three minutes. This is pretty good. Anything like close to three minutes is good for the first world. I've only had sub three minutes a couple of times, so I'm happy with this. So luckily the time stops when I do p actual puzzles, because I haven't practiced doing these super fast. But I've done them a thousand times, so I'm not too slow at them either. There we go. I shouldn't be double jumping, that's a bad habit actually, because it doesn't save me any time and sometimes I hit stuff. So okay, here we go, here's some green stuff. You can see it, things are blinking green, doors and keys and whatnot. And anything that's blinking green is unaffected by time travel. So I'm gonna have some fun now. There we go. If I hadn't done it that way, that thing would have gone down in front of the door and I would have been able to. So that's not just a quick round, it's the way the game intended to do it. I'll tell you if I do a level in another way than the game intended to. Because there are some glitches and things here now. That has been exploited. Oh. I have a lot of time. I didn't lose any time for that because I still have to wait for this cloud. So. I can take as much time as I want to with that one, almost. There's pro strats for both of these puzzle pieces, uh, which are really cool. I won't be able to show off any of them now, but I can do it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one, um, the second puzzle piece I do is probably not the way you did it if you played this game. It's 
it's like semi pro ish. It involves a really interesting glitch. Oh, I'll just show you. Oh, I forgot to jump, whatever. Doesn't really matter that much. If you stand on a platform like I'm doing right now, and then the platform is removed, you can still jump for 12 frames. So let's have some fun. And hurrah! <laughs> but it's an even better way of taking that piece, actually. <laughs> that PY does. I, that's the one thing I almost did, but I wasn't getting it consistent enough. I'll, I can show you that one after the run. I'm gonna... Oh, nice, I didn't hit it. Okay, here's a glitch. No, oh, come on. Here we go. That's unintended. Oh yeah, you jump on the ladders. Yeah, it's, it? it's a ladder glitch. Yeah. If you stand on solid ground or on the platform, and then you walk up a ladder, and if you jump before the eighth or ninth frame, you jump from the spot of the ladder, so you get an extra high jump. I'll do that again very shortly, and that's the only two times I'll do it in the speedrun. It's possible to get another piece... Ah, dang it. Uh, it's possible to get another piece with it, but that's a really high ladder jump, and I'm not able to do that consistently. So I'll have a different strat for that. There we go, that's another one. This, that one's really easy. Like, the, the ladder jump is, the rest isn't. <laughs> that's almost no extra height at all. But if you are beyond the eight frames, you just fall off the ladder. It can be annoying sometimes if you go down a hole like that, and you jump too fast, and you just jump up again. <laughs> and that's, okay, I actually have to be a little bit slow on that to get a perfect timing on this next part. Oh, dang it. I don't want the, I don't want the key. And I don't want to die. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I usually do that first time, though. That was kind of annoying. Oh, well. I'm still okay on time, actually. Like, I actually, when I learned that I was going to speedrun here, my goal was like <laughs> sub 30 because I was doing like 36 minute runs and then I learned all these cool tricks so now that should be very easy but I usually do run between 26, 30 and 28 minutes but we'll see. There, because I'll do the alternative strategy for the last level it's actually possible to get completely stuck and ruin the whole run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the world record? 24, 39. It's not official. Um, like it hasn't been submitted, but it's recorded and uh, yeah, 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 it's, it's on YouTube and yeah. That's enough. That's yeah. Enough. He he didn't want to submit yeah because he th he thinks he can do it even better, which yeah. he, he probably can. But that run is so freaking amazing. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yes, no, no. almost. Okay, that's an alternative thing. That's a little fun. I think it was Dr. Balkus who discovered that one. Okay, this is fun. Was fine. He's unaffected by time, but these chandeliers are not, so let's kill him a lot of times. There we go. Almost three. There we go. Okay, here's. Okay, serious time. This is a huge time skip. This is one of the reasons I can do this faster than the old world records. This is a completely new strat. But it's like a one cycle thing, so if I mess it up, I have to do it all over again. And it's quite difficult. Okay. Oh. And there we got the key. That's an awesome <laughs> strat. And it's very difficult. It took me forever to learn. Um, because now I can get this piece wrong. That's the point of it. So I skipped the whole bottom... Okay, I shouldn't... I should wait. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I skipped the whole bottom part here. <laughs> and that saves me like 40 seconds, I think. It's really good. So I'm 8 minutes here, which is okay. I think... The best I've been here is like 7.45 or something, so it's pretty decent. Ah, another puzzle. Like you can see, I've never done them before. Uh, another puzzle like 10 seconds later, that's all. <laughs> if you watch the task run, and you should watch the task run, he does it in 20 minutes and 11 seconds. It's incredible. And he does all the puzzles in a different way. Like sometimes he rotates all the pieces around and just make them connect that way and things like that. It's funny. Okay, this world is really weird because when I move forward, times move forward. And when I move backwards, times move backwards. And it messes with your head like crazy. Especially the first time you try to play this game. Like I can't go right now. I have to go left. Oh, nice. I got the... Oh, but I messed up. Whatever. Uh, or else that guy that I just hit would kill me. Ah... You can get corner boosts. I didn't talk about those. I could have. I tried to get a corner boost there, landing on the corner. That's a big corner boost, and it's completely necessary for that. Almost there we go. 
It's completely necessary for doing the alternative strat for the last run. It increases my speed if I land on the corner of a platform, but it has to be a very precise landing. And there's different types of corner boosts too. It depends on the platform and depends exactly where I land too. I can get a, a weak corner boost and a fast corner boost and things like that. They're very rarely necessary for anything, but they aren't. They are necessary at the last level. A couple of them. Oh, what just happened there? No, 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 no. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> How did that happen? That, add that to the that's never happened before board. <laughs> Someone? <laughs> I ain't getting up. Oh, that's see, that's a though. stupid corner boost. It pushed me in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, so you've seen this level before, but now I have to kill them in a certain order or they come back to life again because time goes backwards now. Wee! So they came back to life. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and this is fun. Wee! And it looks very impressive, but it's simple to do. No, but that, that one is actually real simple. I like I managed to do it on my first try and I've been doing it right ever since, so it's like that one's not hard. But getting the jump right, and I like this, that's PY shout out to him for that last one, that's a cool way of doing. Okay, here comes the one I practiced. With an there's an alternative strat to this level, which that's probably the one I don't do that saves the most time. But it involves that rabbit up there. And I'll will okay. Was that fast enough? No, oh, dang it! Okay, come on. Oh. I'm supposed to stand with the key in the hand once I rewind, if I rewind, do it correctly. And then I can forward time again and Wait, jump. Wait, you have a key now, what happened? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, this is, this is also fun. Let's see if I can do this right. And now I can do this. And now I'm almost by the door, so when I rewind afterwards, I'll be going really fast back again. Because I have to wait for this guy to come down. Anyway, so I might as well spend my time productively. <laughs> it's important you land on the very front of that Goomba, so you can pick up his key in air after you rewind this. Nice. Yes, got the key. So there we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we need a commentator. I can't explain all these things. Here we go. Okay. Suddenly key. Okay, this is serious time for this one. This is another difficult one. Yes. What? Oh, that's all awesome to get that right. Okay, yeah, sure. And hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well. There's a more complicated way of doing that one, which is a bit <laughs> faster than PY does. <laughs> and he actually he actually discovered that after the task run was submitted. <laughs> and so, so he did it better than the task run, so the task run had to change his, and yeah. <laughs> it's too sad that he's in France competing and I'm here playing, because it should be the other way around. He should be here playing and I could be commentating. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not completely. Oh, I forgot to scratch. You can do a scratch record thing there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's just a fun thing. Uh, luckily, that hole, I had to run away from the guy because if I stand still, time doesn't move. <laughs> um, but luckily, the time stops when I do that, so I don't lose any time from just running. Uh, oh. This, this puzzle is actually simplest to do upside down, because most of the pieces are upside down. But... You can get like a head boost. No, I didn't get it. And um, gives you just a tad bit extra. Okay, this is a fun... Uh, in this world, you have a shadow. And once oh, you rewind fun. speed, it, it repeats whatever you did. Or if it's about to fall, it's going to continue to fall like that, and that's really helpful. So like this, I got the shadow to help oh. me. I'm going to keep doing that. Um, That's just intended, but I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is uh, this is the way. The, this is intended stuff. I don't think there's any more. Yeah. Oh no, there is. There's a huge level that will be completely unable to explain to you, which is completely unintended as well. That's a lot of fun. Fun. Took me a while to f to actually learn that though. So I'll stand here and grab my own key. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And I killed that one Goomba because he's gonna be on top if once I get up, so. And I want my shadow to be down there so the rabbit doesn't chase me when I come. If you have the Xbox version, it's actually possible to jump on that rabbit. It's really stupid. But it's really, I think it's really clutch though. I don't think it's like easy to do. Okay, there's um there's a ladder jump here, which I won't do because it's inconsistent for me. So I actually devised my own little strat for this route. So I don't have to do it. Is that gonna work? Yes. When it dies, it respawns. There we go. Is that good? Yes, that's good. Okay, so that's my way of Because you can actually jump the ladder there, but I can't do it. Like, I can't. I can try now. I have a little bit of time. But yeah, you can like ladder jump this one, but ugh, so difficult. This last part is the way the game intended. You should see the task of this one. That's crazy, though. Oh, that was too late, I think. No, I'm fine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> This is like Portal with glitches. Well, Portal has glitches, but yeah. <laughs> How fast is the test run? Uh, 20, uh, 11. Wow. <laughs> is, that, is that good enough? Did I? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was barely. You see my shadow almost didn't catch yeah. the door. It's actually, the jump command lingers. Like, if you jump, like, jump, like the, you guys said, no. If you jump, um... Some frames before you actually land, I don't remember how many, I think it's nine, then he will jump automatically when you land. So you can use that to make your shadow jump, if you, even if you didn't jump. Oh. If you just rewind at the precise moment, and the task run does that all the time, of course, because he has frame-perfect things, so. This is also exactly as the game intended. There's no shenanigans here, but it's really cool. I'm okay on time. So here's the second layer, which is this guy is affected by time, but he can be hit by shadow chandeliers. So there's a way that's hard to explain, but I can get three hits off in the first one. There, it's three hits. Oh, dang it, that was too early. That was too late. What am I doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, whew. I can't open that door. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain. <laughs> that guy only died by the shadow chandeliers, not the real ones. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Uh, oh, I hate that. Oh, I have to do it over again. Okay, let's do it right this time. There we go, I should be fine now. And I'm, just for fun, so I'm gonna let my shadow take this piece. That's just for fun. It's no. So if I just go close and no, I didn't. Ah, never mind. If I if I because I messed up, it didn't really work. There we go. <laughs> that level is Pretty incredibly sure. difficult if you never played the game before. Uh, but for tasks, it's really short and sweet. So, I mean, not for tasks, for just speed running in general. Well, Six. it's basically tasks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is far away from the task <laughs> There's a there's a certain jump you can do or that the task run does that's like no one's ever been able to do without TAS. Um and he does it all the time in the task just to it becomes like a mega jump. And it's all it has to be frame perf. I think it's three frames, but there's a series of things you have to do, so it's very difficult. Okay. And this is the last like normal level with a puzzle. There's the last level afterwards, which is like the ending. Um and here you have a ring, which slows down time in its vicinity, like you see right now. So if I didn't place the ring there, that door would shut before I could get back, unless you're tasked and you actually managed to do that without the ring. <laughs> which is incredible. Okay, let's see if I can do this. No, dang it. I want to get the key and the rabbit at the same time, but whatever. And this is oh, kind of stupid for the computer version of this. Yeah, most people have, uh, do this with an Xbox controller. But the same button to climb the vines is the same as to pick up the key. So sometimes I try to pick up the key and I just start climbing the vines. So that's retarded. But in Xbox, there are different buttons and I can't customize buttons. So it's really stupid. But I think I'm the only one who has done a sub 27 run with a keyboard, actually. Hmm. I'm sure they could do it if they, had one, if they tried, but <laughs> they use the Xbox controller. And when I say they, it's only two people uh, it's PY and. One called Palfo, who has the old world record, and he's been able to do, he's been able to do um, a, a better run than his old as well with the new strats. But he doesn't speedrun braid anymore much. Uh, it's possible to get this one without the key. I'll show you afterwards. 
without the ring, I mean. But it's very clutch timing, so I'm... Actually, this whole level is the worst level if you do the pro strat. I'm gonna take that piece over there with some fun. That's not gonna save me any time, but it's just for show, so... It, it, it's the way you have to do it with the pro strap because then you do other things as well. Let's see if I can get it right. This is just for funsies. Oh, dang it. Come on. Yay! Oh. That's so much fun. So you're co corner boosting. Yeah, and corner boosting jumping. and I jump because the boongas work like a trampoline. Like they, so they will... Oh, that was so close. <laughs> but I still like... In the pro strats you skip all what I'm doing now too, but I'll... What I do now is getting the Goomba safely down, so I can jump on him and get on top of that other cannon. But if you place the cannon, if you place the ring at a very precise spot on the ground, you can actually, uh, with some really clutch timing, still evade these cannonballs, which I'm about to die to because I was stupid. So let's do this differently. There we go. Um, but yeah, if you place the ring on the ground on a certain spot, you don't have to go on top of the cannon at all, and then you can skip that whole other part as well. I can show you how it's done, but I'm not gonna guarantee that I'll be able to do it. Now I actually go in and out of the level because then the ring disappears. But uh, Tim gets it back, so, but then I don't have to, oh nice head boost. I don't have to, um, um, be slowed down. This again is very similar to the other, the world 3 level, but irreversible. <laughs> we should have some slow motion guys. Okay, so there is yeah, I placed the ring down there so it's possible. Okay, let me see if I can. Yes. There we go. I got one of them over without looking at it, so I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. You know, I really no, I need two. Uh, I only need one if I get that jump right, but then if I mess it up, I need two, so I don't want to... I want to be safe. <laughs> yeah, that was the bad way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> ah, I missed that one cycle. Okay. He's not down for too long now because I have the ring in an odd placement. Oh, that was lucky. Yes! That's a difficult jump. Can I...? No, that was bad. Oh, come on, I just... I... How did I... How am I dying now? I didn't die. <laughs> Oh, man, this is annoying. Okay, I'm gonna have to think a little bit. Okay, there we go. I got that. There we go. Okay, here's a huge corner glitch if I can get it. No, I didn't. Ugh. It bounces me like over there. Right, yeah. Which the chat can't see because you're not here. <laughs> I like to do this part of the puzzle now because it makes it easier afterwards because almost all these pieces fit together anyway. Okay, this level is a completely new strat. We use a lot of glitches and stuff, and it's almost impossible to explain what happens. So just enjoy. We'll, we'll just watch. Yeah. It's fine. The, the thing is, so I can explain one thing. When green stands on a platform that's like, you see some of the platforms are like blinking. See, these guys are like, and then Tim becomes green. He becomes unaffected by time. And that's very useful if you love, know some physics. <laughs> and you are. Dr. Balkis and Kayla was figuring these things out, so... So, I haven't done much myself, I've just been stealing and learning from others, just pointing that out right away. No crits there. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's open. What? That's good. What? <laughs> oh, dang it! Ah, I messed it up though. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think I can do it again. Sorry, it's there's there's more to this trick than just that. There's a reason I take it the way I do. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now I have to bunny jump or else I'm screwed. No, I'm fine. Okay, that's the star I was talking about. I won't be yeah. able to take it. It's one of the eight. One of those pieces of eight. Okay, this is inexplainable what I'm doing right now. But right now, um, I rewinded and then I forwarded. And everything that happened when I was doing things continued to happen after I was done, so now the key's down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and so I can do the same thing again with this puzzle piece. So now you just fast forward until you pick oh, it up. Oh, got the puzzle piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a glitch. This is not a glitch. This is intense. Well, it's not the way it was intended, oh, right. but it, it's abusing, it's abusing in-game mechanics, but it's not a glitch. 
There we go. Well, I hope the chat's just full of craigasms. Yeah, the chat's full of craigasms. Cool. Well, if not, you just made them start spelling it <laughs> by saying it. They say my braid hurts. <laughs> <laughs> The puns. You know why you never oh. should. Oh. There we go. It's possible to do that one without dropping that key, and it's it, well, it's possible, but it's only Py who does it, and it's yeah, it's that's also hard to explain. <laughs> oh, maybe I should take that. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay on time. So that's the end of this world. Now there's only like a short part left. Um, if you haven't played this game before, it's kind of um, the ending I'll be doing is different from the one you've been doing, <laughs> <laughs> and it's only intended to work if you have taken all the seven stars. But there is a way to make it work without, and it's a series of very clutch timings. So um, it's not it's it's the fourth door here that will be coming up. In this world, everything just goes backwards. That's that's oh. the but I can mess up the backwards of going things by standing and intervening like I'm doing right now. These are kind of boring. Uh, but if you see, like, if you play the actual game and you get the real last ending, you kind of understand what's really going on in the game. But when you get the alternative ending, it just confuses you even more. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's the one we'll be going for because it saves 40 seconds. <laughs> if you do it right. But it still saves a lot of time. So I will be doing a lot of rewinding to get it right. And it will still probably save me time because it's such. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. What? No! Dang it. Okay, whatever. Oh, come on. Great. Come on. There we go. I might be able to get the. Yes, I'll be able to get this one. There we go. <laughs> okay. So this is the last level. Oh, there's an epilogue after this. So here's finally the princess. Um, she does exist. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'll be doing an alternative ending here, so it's going to be even more confusing. Uh, but the real ending is actually quite enlightening. <laughs> because it shows that you're actually chasing the princess. No, that, yeah, not the other way around and things like that. But Yeah, yeah. But the alternative ending, the princess just blows up. So it's... <laughs> what? Yeah, well... I look forward to tuned. this. Well, if I can do it. I, it. This is also the point... When the princess is about to blow up, it's also the point where I could mess up my entire run and just the game just completely stops. Like, I'm completely stuck. So hopefully that doesn't yeah. happen. It's only happened twice, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, here comes the serious stuff. Yes. Okay, and I have to get this. No, that's not good enough. Yes. Yes. That takes forever to get. Nice. So you just call a boost it again? Yes, but it's very precise. Oh, I got the head boost there. Nice! And that's very precise. Oh, that's, this is good. Oh, no, don't want to hit the wall there. Don't want to hit the wall there. There we go. Okay, I might not need this corner boost. No, I don't need it. Yes! Okay, that one is not supposed to be able to work. Like, I'm not supposed to be able to land on that. <laughs> this makes me... Like, look at the flames. They're, like, completely gone. Uh, so, so you're now, way further ahead than you should be. Yeah, and this is pretty good time too. So I, this is the point. I have to get ahead of that one to uh, the left there. I'm just pointing at the screen. The chat can't see me, but whatever. So now I can go up this chandelier that's falling down. That's not supposed to be possible without the seven stars. <laughs> but I can't fall the off and then. Okay. Cool. Yes, I'm Very safe. Cool. Yeah. I'm safe. See, if I fall off that chandelier, the princess still explodes. But the ability to revert time stops from the g whole game, and then I'm just stuck down there and I can't do anything. And the <laughs> whole run is ruined. So I'm very happy that worked. That hasn't happened too much. This is a good time. That's my personal record right there. So, and it's about a minute left, I think. So this is pretty good. When does timing stop? Um, when I finish the epilogue. All right. There's an epilogue. But now I'm up here. I'm not supposed to be up here. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed, like, the real ending, you actually have to revert everything you just did. Like, you go a little bit further to the right than the chandelier, and then you have to rewind everything in X1 speed. And so you have to watch everything all over again, and that takes forever. Even the beginning when they fall down and everything. So that's why this is such a faster way of doing it. So this is just the epilogue with some more story. There's no, no really brain teasers or any glitches or anything to do here. This is one speed boost. Let's see if I can get it. It's coming up. And... Nice! I got it! <laughs> I've actually been able to jump there, so I skipped that whole book, so I missed a part of the story. 
So should we get ready with time? Or? Yeah, we should get ready with time. Yeah, get ready with time. So, well, I look at that time, but whatever. Well, it's, it's yeah. chat will want. That's, okay, um, and time. 36? 30 30.06. 30.06, oh, okay, yeah. But I'm, I'm very happy with 27.19 because my personal is 26.14, so that's, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you, I'm out of it.